Hello my friends, so many people asked me how to produce a track like Mesto and I thought Yeah, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but yeah I really tried hard to do a track like Mesto and man that was hard But finally I came up with this I thought it is pretty decent and I can show you guys how I made it because I love you. <laughs> this right here my guys is the full track. The blue patterns are the instruments and the purple ones are the drum samples. The lead melody consists of seven different lead sounds. One string sound and three vocal samples for a more organic sounding sound. I also put a bit white noise on top for more crispiness. Ladies and gentlemen this is the lead melody. For a more mesto feeling I made a tiny volume automation. My processing on the leads is as always not complicated. I just put a kickstart on it for the side chain. I took out the lows and the bits of the sharp highs, a bit distortion, a bit chorus, and a OTT to glue the seven leads together. On top I put reverb. Individually the lead sounds like this. These leads sounded really amazing. Now we go further to the bass line my friends. The bass line consists of three sub basses and three mid basses and again white noise for more crisp. I know three sub basses are weird but it worked. For the sub bass I took an R bass on top for more warmth. For the mid basses I just took out the lows. I also done a volume automation for the bass line for a more bouncy feeling. Now my guys we are moving on to the chords. In Mestes tracks the chords are not that strong because when you have extra thick chords the song will not sound bouncy enough. So the chords are just for filling up the track a bit and give the main melody a bit more harmonics. I took a few presets of my future bounce preset pack. I just took out the lows and put a OTT on top. This is what the chords are sounding all alone. Here are a few plucks to fill up the track. For background atmosphere I made these pad. Here is the Mesto drum loop. Make sure to take a bouncy kick in the top kick on top. Take claps that are slapping very good and short. For the second part of the drop put a hi-hat loop underneath. Oh I almost forget. You have to put also a whistle sound on the second part of the drop that plays the lead melody. And now my ladies and gentlemen we finished a Mesto style drop. That is phenomenal. For the build up I took the original track and it slides into my remake. For the fills in the drop I took also the original song from Mesto itself. Before I show you the track I have to tell you that you can get this FLP on myself I feel free to check it out and now lean back and enjoy my friends.